we were told we couldn't have kids. After trying to conceive for two years, our doctor did some tests, then sent us home with the word impossible. Carla took the news hard. A handful of months later, she became ill. And then, a phone call. Hello, Carla? I'd never received a call from the doctor in my life. I know why you've been sick. You're pregnant. Right on his due date, our son Draven was born. Then we were told, You can say goodbye to traveling for a while. We thought this was a perfect time to travel. So, this spring, we are taking our seven-month-old baby on a camping trip from Oshawa, Ontario to Nelson, BC. And we want to share it with you. Good morning. We got our bikes loaded up there. We got a bunch of Rubbermaids and a baby. Draven is seven months old and he gets his first camping experience with his mom and dad at a very young age and we're very excited. Griffin, are you ready? Remember doing this last year? We get to do it again. In 1,000 feet, your destination will be on the left. This is us for two nights. Do you like it? You do? Oh, I'm so glad. Step on that. We love being outdoors and really want our son to develop a strong appreciation for nature. Even though traveling may steepen the learning curve that already comes with a new baby, we wanted to nurture that connection to the earth early on. Time to get up. Been up for hours. <laughs> Every day we see our son learn, grow, and change. It feels like time passes quickly, so we do our best to stay present and drink in every moment. These are the Badlands. <laughs> I think he likes it. There. Traveling through Canada and the United States, we stayed at 11 different spots over our 17-day journey. Draven was able to soak in all kinds of new experiences throughout the adventure. Constantly moving with the baby had its own challenges for us to solve while following a storm system across the country. Last night it was 25 degrees and we were sweating when we were sleeping because we were up in the loft and then we drove two hours and now we have to wear long underwear. It's starting to rain. We just got our tent set up at Waterton. <laughs> so we dodged a major bullet tonight. We were supposed to be camping outside in this weather, where there's probably about six inches of snow on the ground and it's pouring wet and there's just a river in the parking lot here. It was much colder last night than it was the night before. Mommy, she's so beautiful, even on two hours of sleep. Yes. Draven was crying at 3 in the morning, 3.30, and we couldn't make him stop. Despite the hard moments, it was all worth it. We're at uh, Waterton National Park, doing a hike up the mountain. It's okay, buddy. I, I know you threw up all over my back, but you don't need to feel bad about it. Checked out some streams, which are Griffin's favorite things to go in. I'll stop for the dog. Okay. This is our last night of camping it before is. we get to Nelson. Draven, we're here. After 17 days on the road and 5,000-ish kilometers, we are at her final destination for the next two months. Getting pregnant after being told it wasn't possible feels like a gift. The ability to travel as a family and share our love for adventure with our son is something we feel grateful for every day. Never let anyone tell you what you can't do.